beyond the sandy beaches where thousands come to forget their troubles. Beneath the seedy streets where many roam with warped views on a country so shadowed by controversy. And far beyond those who come to see but are blind to things they cannot fully understand. Thailand is full of mystery and hidden treasures that are only found by those who dare to open their minds. These children, like so many in Thailand, grow part of a way of life stemming deep within their heritage and family roots as Thai boxers. Particularly, the role of young Thai boxers is a commonly misunderstood subject, frowned upon by outsiders. Tolerance to cultural diversities should be considered as well as an adequate understanding of the nature of the sport. In addition, the reality is that very few can fathom the cruel, cold reality of a poverty-stricken country like Thailand where what may seem questionable to outsiders is in fact the ultimate survival to others. To most spectators, this is just another form of entertainment, but to these kids, it's not only their passion and livelihood, it's a means to support their families. The Sak Yant is a form of tattooing dating back long ago, predominantly practiced in Southeast Asia by Buddhist monks. Recognized as a protection tattoo, most Thai boxers, better known as Nak Moi, are seen with the Sak Yant designs imprinted on their bodies. To them, it is a rich component of their cultural values and beliefs, a subtle and intimate comfort that they are under the protection of a higher power. The controversial subject of Katoi or ladyboys is one that will no doubt confront most tourists at some point. It is generally a financially driven life choice which has mostly become a socially accepted part of Thailand's culture. However, both caution and consideration should be taken when associating closely with this particular custom. The confronting fast-paced city lifestyle in some of the major cities of Thailand can often be a cultural shock to those who have lived in more sheltered societies. Apart from the obvious controversial subjects that surround a person's perception of Thailand, there is still a lot more than meets the eye. Beneath the exterior is a world full of rich heritage and culture to be explored. Like most things in life, some of the raw beauty is usually found in the simple or overlooked things. Many remote areas or quiet districts in Thailand are home to some of those hidden treasures. Nestled peacefully within the suburbs of East Pattaya is the unique Ormi Kun Muay Thai camp, which is predominantly home to the remarkable diamond known as Pedji Ja and her very talented brother Ma Win. The siblings are managed by their mother and owner of the gym, Ta Wan, and train under their father, Sang Wan. It is not uncommon for young girls to compete in the sport, 
but Pejija really is someone special. It is safe to say that she is a true treasure of Thailand who cannot be compared. Jija already possesses an incredible record at 12 years old with over 180 fights with only five losses, which is more than double of what most Westerners would ever accomplish in their mature careers as Thai boxers. More astounding is that most of her opponents have been boys of a slight age or weight difference. Unfortunately, there are some cultural driven superstitions that can cause limitations or restrictions on the subject of a young lady fighting against the boys. Once Gigi hits puberty, she will be prohibited to fight against the opposite gender. Harshly, it is considered as an impurity for a young lady, one who has hit puberty, to be in the same ring as the boys. This will become problematic to Gigi's consistency of fighting as she will become limited to female opponents and will also see less opportunities for televised fights. All issues which will ultimately affect the financial income which Gigi uses to help support her family. Children, including Gigi and Marwin, which are fortunate enough to attend school, continue their education even after the bell rings. Their hunger for knowledge is additionally fed by a more sentimental teacher known as their trainer, or Kru Mwai. The heavy bag becomes their textbook and the ring becomes their classroom. Inside this secondary teaching facility, students learn more about themselves and the world than what most Western teachers could ever hope to teach. Discipline, integrity and confidence. Sacrifice, respect and patience. Hard work, dedication and honour. These imperative skills and attributes are consistently practiced and engraved into the spirits of these young Nak Moys. This is the ultimate character building foundation and is the true essence of Muay Thai. It is a passion and privilege to uphold the values, traditions and respect that this remarkable sport offers to those involved. Australian Muay Thai champion Daniel the Vice Smirk has become an ambassador of the Ormi Kunjim. After witnessing firsthand their indisputable work ethic, astounding talent and humble spirit, Daniel has gone above and beyond in effort to support this unique gym. Through donations from various Australian gyms and even out of his own pocket, Daniel has rebuilt this gym from the ground up and is setting out to relocate to Pattaya, where he will continue to support and help manage Ormin Kum. As brother and sister exchange light control punches in an effort to help each other with their training, their connection to one another is yet another hidden beauty in the sport that is Muay Thai. Like many families in Thailand, the Ormi Kun family are no strangers to the harsh impacts of poverty. However, their small humble gym kindly welcomes the local Thai children of the neighborhood to train free of charge and share their facilities. This is a prime example of the compassionate values which see the Thai people taking care of their own, even with what little they may have. This is Muay Thai.
Australia's contribution to the Muay Thai community continues to grow fruitfully and we have produced an abundance of high quality fighters on the scene. As the sport evolves and communications become streamlined throughout the globe, we are seeing greater opportunities on offer to all involved. And a beautiful shot from Pa and Jordan Ty in a world of hurt. Well, the pain will be shooting through the lead by of Ty now. Down twice is the Kiwi in round number four. Hands are raised. Let us take you back to where we left you last season. This Aussie legend needs no introduction. Last big hurrah for Jordan Ty, who is giving it his all, but standing in front of him, Australian combat royalty. John Wayne Parr drops Jordan Ty, and that is it. The multi-time world champion, Australia's finest. He ends with his hands in the air. A smile on the face, and with a big win. Well, what a way to go out. What an explosion of technique to finish this one. Just as he, as he has done so many times before. 2012, I had close to 110 fights, and I was sort of getting to the stage in my career where I was starting to uh, get a little bit bored with training and, and the whole... Um, sort of roller coaster. So I decided to, to turn it up and then I did it on my very own promotion on the CMT1. And uh, that was the first time fighting in the cage with MMA gloves on. And it was the most fun that I've ever had in my whole fighting career. And then after about six months, I, I really missed the, uh, the adrenaline, um, the, the excitement of leading up to a fight, the walking out in front of the big crowds. And fighting in the cage was uh, just a whole new rush that I wanted to experience again. I couldn't just do it once and then walk away. So uh, I've decided that to come back. And, and then so far I've gone 3-0. And, and uh, I feel just as good as I, I did when I was 25, even now that I'm 37. So I'm, I'm looking to, to still strive to be the best that I can and to uh, keep getting a few more runs on the board and, and cement my legacy as one of the, not only Australia's, but one of the world's best. Toby Smith is uh, an exceptional fighter. I really have a lot of respect for Toby. He's gone to Bangkok. He's doing it the genuine way, um, living with the ties, uh, uh, training six, seven hours a day, uh, fighting the, the best of the best. Uh, a lot of the people these days, they, they tend to go to the islands, the, the Phuket's and the Samui's, whereas Toby's decided to, to take one and um, strive to be the best in, in Thailand, not just in, in Australia, but in, in the world. Uh, his last fight, he fought the Lumpini champion, um, winning on uh, points, uh, which pretty much shocked not only the world, but um, the ties. The ties like, how, how's this young kid possible, able to do this? Uh, our fight in June is going to be very difficult. He, uh, he comes to the, to the ring with the great credentials. He's only young, he's uh, aggressive, he has great skills. Uh, but at the same time, I've been in the sport a very long time. I fought uh, some some very crazy opponents as well, so I'm not intimidated. Uh, I'm I'm going to bring the fight to him just as much as he's going to bring it to me, and hopefully my experience will be more uh, better than than his aggressiveness. Australia's greatest influential Nakamoy, John Wayne Parr, has given countless aspiring fighters the priceless gift of a hunger to achieve great things. John Wayne Powell's commitment to training and continuous aim to strive for better, stronger, faster, smarter is one of the true martial artists. His Cage Muay Thai series has made waves across the globe for a creative spin on the sport which he has dedicated his entire life to. Rich! 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 John Wayne Parr proves that building a legacy knows no boundaries and no time limit. 
A legacy is built on the foundation of sacrifice, willpower, and the forever burning flame of passion. Bangkok, Thailand, the ultimate destination for training and fighting Muay Thai, home to some of the most hardline fighters and famous stadiums. This is where the magic happens, and it's a place to find some of the most underground gyms. It's here in Bangkok where you will find one of Australia's most promising rising stars, training out of Kalsam Richim, Toby the Weapon Smith. Toby Smith. I'm living in Bangkok, fighting out of Khao Sam Rit Gym. I'm 18 years old. I've had 27 fights, 21 wins, five losses, and one draw. It keeps the fire burning in my heart when I fight and when I'm training. Just when my dad like training me so hard, I just like to, you know, keep winning to keep him happy. You know, like put so much effort into me. All the boys at the gym. Introducing from WA, Toby, the Weapon Smith. Oh, you could hear that echo around the venue. That actually hurt the first three rows and everyone sitting in there. Three low kicks from Toby Smith. Come on, Walked answers. into a couple of... Oh, he got one caught with the elbow. Training in Thailand differs for everybody. Toby, however, lives and trains like a Thai, sharing meals in the common room with his fellow neck moys. This humble spirit embraces not only the sport, but the culture too. Living in the gym is a lot different than back in Australia. We don't have the luxuries like, you know, at home you got with your family, friends. Over here, yeah, you don't have like hot showers, stuff like that. Where some Westerners may come to Thailand in hopes to train like a Thai, very few are actually willing to adopt the entirety of a common lifestyle of a Thai boxer, which in reality is often of a poor and simple nature. Toby, however, signed on for the full traditional experience. The gym will become his home away from home. Here, Toby will continue to grow as a fighter and absorb the authentic ways of a Thai boxer living in Bangkok. Earning his place in the gym, he will be given the opportunity to make a name for himself amongst the Thais. A privilege to learn the art of eight limbs in the motherland, Toby is sacrificing a great deal to pursue his dream of being a world-class boxer. As Toby wraps his hands for the second time today, he will soon begin the gruelling session that he has grown to love.
The days would be long, a lifestyle a challenge, but the reward, the reward will be glorious. Pain is temporary, glory is forever. Thank you.